Hey there, and welcome back to the Virtual Cafe for another coffee combo about business finances. I'm your host, Kerry Zarb, and I am joined by Kim White. We invite you to join us at our table with your favourite brew. Let's pull up our chairs and get into today's episode. Come on, let's go. It's coffee time. Hey, Kim, I think it's time for a coffee. Oh, I can't wait, Kerry. Ooh, what are you having? Ooh, something with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> a mocha? Do you want a mocha? Absolutely, Carrie. That's one of my favorites. I will go next level, Kim. I'm going to get you a mochaccino. Ooh. I'm game, Carrie. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start saying, let's go. It's coffee time. <laughs> <laughs> you probably will. Well, Kim, we've got an interesting topic today. We're going to talk about tetrising your business finances. <gasps> what does this mean? I love this. And I want to say just for all those kindergarten people like me out there, <laughs> tetrising, anytime Carrie uses the word tetrising, Carrie taught me this word because it's basically shuffling and putting in different spots and pulling out something and moving it. Like, I just want to say this because Carrie, I laugh when you taught me this word. It's been probably two years ago. Yeah. That, mm. that I learned this word from you. I would move things around in my calendar and Carrie would say, let me, hold on, let me go Tetris something in my calendar. And I'm like, Tetris it, what? <laughs> <laughs> I want everybody to know what it means. And, and I'll unpack that next layer, Kim, because I feel like we just passed the parcel and you took your layer of wrapping. Oh, anyway, let's not go there. We've got limited time, people, limited time. The Tetrising came from the game where you've got to fit the different shapes to fill the rows and there's a square and then there's one with like a leg on it and you've got to turn them around really quickly. It's actually intense and a little bit stressful. And I'm going to say Kerry doesn't play that game anymore because it's too much. I think I Tetris enough without the game as well. So, yes, thank you. Thank you for mentioning that, Kim, because I would have just breezed right over it. <laughs> you know, some of us kindergartners, Kerry, we need, we need extra. <laughs> Good. I love it. Well, Kim, when we think about Tetrising our business finances, there's probably way too many parts in this for this episode. So a couple of things that we can touch on really quickly is I think the first one that comes to mind for me is your schedule. So you know because I refer to the calendar of Tetrising time and moving and shuffling as you said. When we look at our schedule, when are we going to work on the business finances and are we at risk of Tetrising too many times and bumping it too far? and not keeping that part under control. Ooh. I make a confession, Carrie, since we're in the virtual cafe, like confession. <laughs> it confession is. Seat. Yes. I can't tell you how many times before I got into the habit, and that's what I'm going to call it, of having a particular day and a particular time to do finances I would put it off. So I might say, oh, I'll do that on the weekend. And then the weekend would come and go. And then I'd say, oh, yeah, I will do it, you know, Wednesday. And then Wednesday would come and go. And I would go month after month of not, just not. I'll just leave it at that. I would just not because I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to deal with it. And then once you're behind on everything, behind on reconciling your bank account, reconciling anything, doing anything with the numbers. Once you're behind, it feels like you will never catch up anyway. So I'm gonna put it off again. I just wanna add that to this is that I did that for so long and that is a horrible feeling that I love that you are talking about this in a way that makes it not overwhelming. And Kim, that's a really good point, first and foremost, to kick us off, actually, because if we do that too many times, we have to pay the piper. The piper needs to be paid at any point, whether you do it this week, next week. And when I say people, by the way, pay the piper is just we've got to sometimes do these things whether we like to or not. So therefore, 
Well, like you said, Kim, is it this weekend? Is it next weekend? Is it the one after? It's going to catch up with you eventually. Next minute, it's it's tax time. Next minute, your accountant is like knocking on the door, or probably not physically. They don't come to your door anymore, thank goodness. They don't <laughs> think they ever did, actually. <laughs> However, that's pressure. And you think of all those weeks that you stack on your shoulders and all that extra pressure that you give yourself by playing Tetris too much. I love the original game, but we've got to stop playing the game and bumping everything too far to get to that point where it's so overwhelming, you don't want to touch it at all. That's the danger. Well, and don't forget what happens at the end of a Tetris game. <laughs> Everything <laughs> <gets> <laughs> <crashing> <laughs> down. <laughs> exactly. I don't even know if that was the right sound, by the way. <laughs> I can't remember. It's been so many years. <laughs> <laughs> I need a button for that one, Kim. We need a Tetris button. There you go. <laughs> However, I think there's other parts to this, Kim. You know, there's so much to unpack in this. Look at your budget. If you have... Oh, the ugly word. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yes. Sorry. It's the B word in finance. <laughs> it is the B word, Kim. You're right. Okay, Kerry calls it the control centre. Doesn't that sound lovely? Let's look at our control centre compared to... Go and look at your budget. Like it's just, ugh. anyway. So if you look at your finances and who you've got to pay in what order and what's coming down the line, it could be your subscriptions, your recurring payments. It could be you've got a supplier or a few of them that you need to pay in your business. Sometimes when the cash flow is just at that kind of squeaky point, you know, it's getting a little bit tight and squeaky. Sometimes we rob Peter to pay Paul. And next week, we're going to pay Paul and Rob Peter. And the week after that, we're going to swap it back around again. They're interesting positions to be in. And that's the Tetrising that we can do in our finances when we have the choice to press the button. Not the recurring stuff. That you got your credit card, they're automatically going to take it. You've got to make sure the money's in that account. Otherwise, you're going to go into negative you might get charged a fee from the bank for being in negative so that's another thing with tetrising is the payments that we've got the option to pay versus the ones that are automatically coming out whether we like it or not that's a balancing it so Kerry, I want to like just mention really quickly because I know what you have done for me and our community I feel like everybody needs to know that simple subscriptions that you have, you have a tool for everybody that they can get it you know, for free. It's something you did for yourself and then you shared with all of us. And we have saved so many thousands and thousands of dollars using it. So if you don't already have it, like I wanna make sure everybody knows, if you don't already have it, Go to the show notes, Carrie. Will you put it in the show notes how they can get it? I will. Thank you, Kim. Yeah. And because I, I think it changes how you can Tetris things. Absolutely. It yeah. Gives you some power and some control. It really does, Kim. And that's a great point. And I would have again breezed right over that because if we've got a Peter and a Paul in our business, the ones that we can choose to pay, we've got to manually press the button. However, we've got all of those subscriptions as well. There's a lot to juggle. So imagine kind of flying a little bit blind in that space and not knowing when that payment's coming out, not having a bit of a plan for that. You have that ability to Tetris this. You can't change the schedule of those payments because they're on auto and they're just going to keep hitting you at the dates and the times that they all happen, normally when we're sleeping, by the way. <laughs> However, if you go through simple subscriptions, you can at least get a handle on that. Take control of that part to allow yourself the breathing space to play Tetris everywhere else, wherever else you can, if you need to. Again, back to the tight, squeaky moments that we all have, we need somewhere to kind of tweak and take advantage of that. Certainly grab simple subscriptions. I will drop that in the show notes. Thank you so much, Kim and getting control of those reoccurring payments. So back to Tetrising. 
So Kira, can I also add this though, that I am grateful that you're not judgy to us when there are times to shuffle the money like that, because there are times in every business, I don't care if you're just starting out or if you're a multi-billion dollar corporation, there are times that you do have to shuffle the money around and Tetris it around. And I think when you're starting out or you're a small business owner who hasn't had lots of experience yet, you think there's something wrong with you when you have to do that. And it's just not the case. It happens. There are reasons that happen that cause you to, to shuffle things around. And I love the fact, Carrie, that you have these conversations with me and you make me not feel judged when that kind of stuff has to happen. I feel like that is such a sweet spot to be in this virtual cafe with you. Thank you, Kim. And you know why? Tell me, Carrie, tell me. Because it's normal. Yes. It's actually so normal. A lot of people, like you said, would actually sit there and look at themselves in the mirror and go, I'm failing. My business is failing. My cash flow is shot. It's too squeaky. It's too tight. That's it. I'm no good at this. It's it's not working. And they'll quit or they'll just keep beating themselves up about it. You can sit down and tweak the plan. We, you know, the, the B word, the budget word, when we first set up our business or we turn into a new year like we just have, people often sit down and make themselves a new list of priorities and what's happening. It may look like a spreadsheet in Kerry's world. And then <laughs> we, you, spreadsheet addict. And then they lock that in as concrete. They actually say, okay, that's it. That's what this year is going to look like. And then here comes curveball number one and curveball number two and this thing and this thing, all the things that are not in the plan. And Kim, you've heard me say this before, consider that in pencil. It is always in pencil. You can spin the pencil around and use the eraser on the back and play the game for the numbers to work for you. Don't set them in concrete. Nothing is in concrete. And I do want to add that we are not saying that you should go into massive debt. It's nothing to do with that. It's just like the curveball that you're talking about, Carrie. Is there are unexpected things that happen. We can do all the preparing we can possibly do, but there's still things that are going to happen because we don't know something or because something happens, just period. So I feel like you being not judgy about this gives us that opportunity to come and talk to you about those kind of things because there's no shame in this. There's no guilt no. in this. It's your money. It's yep. you choose what you're going to do with it. But the fact you can shuffle it around, mm -hmm. like gives you more control. Yeah, and freedom and breathability because that's what we need. We need space to have everything in pencil. I don't want anyone not to have a plan, but don't have it rigid. Don't have it set in concrete. Get out your pencil, play with pencil. Even if it's a spreadsheet, whatever it looks like, whatever you're using, but just remind yourself it's pencil. No plan ever made is perfect and goes exactly to plan. Never. Look at the rest of our lives. Look at the week you planned just gone. Look back and go, your calendar looked like this. Did it end up like that where you started? Did you have to run off to the grocery store unexpectedly? Did you have to go and collect a friend from the airport unexpectedly? Look at all those curveballs we get. Your business finances are no different. So give yourself the freedom to work in pencil and know that you have control to play the game. Play Tetris a little bit when you need to. And I agree with you, Kim, I don't promote going into debt, but just know sometimes we need that flexibility in our finances it's okay. It is okay. Kim, this was a great conversation as always. I think we're going to have to kind of recap and go back and maybe unpack a few more of these things and there'll be more discussion about this in the future. What do you think? Oh my goodness, Carrie, I think this is a great start and kicking off season five 
again, this is the beginning of the season. So I feel like you're covering so many amazing things so people can get started. And wait till you see what we've got in store. Woo! It's exciting. <laughs> well, Kim, I think we should grab a couple of takeaways and hit the road. What do you reckon? Oh, I am game with that, Carrie. Awesome. Let's go. Thanks for joining us in the virtual cafe. You can follow the show to be notified of future episodes. And if you're enjoying this podcast, we encourage you to leave a rating or personal review. Until next time, happy biz beans to you. No beans were harmed during the production of this podcast. Information contained in this podcast should be taken as general advice only and your personal circumstances have not been taken into account. It is recommended that you seek financial advice from a professional who is licensed to do so. If you choose to act upon the general advice shared, you do so at your own risk.